the only game to ever get player deaths correct. Look. So look, I died. I'm still moving the mouse around, looking around. The game world does not get unloaded. I simply get moved. I just, look, my health is still zero. I simply just get moved over to this regenerator thing. And why do other game worlds insist on dismantling everything that's loaded in the RAM just to rebuild the player? It's just so stupid to me. It's like the game world's already loaded in our RAM. So you want us to wait another 30 seconds. You want all the enemies in the game world to be reset. You want all the loot in chests to be like refreshed because you're reloading the game world. You want all the NPC positions to be reset. It's just like, why? It just has always baffled me. And this game gets it right. Just because I died doesn't mean I have to be dead. It's not real. It's not real life. Just move me. It's just, like, it's, you know, it's just like, this is just, this is the only game I've ever seen get it right. Why would you unload the whole game world that we've loaded into RAM? Especially now that games are bigger these days and have huge file sizes and will have like 8 gigabytes in your RAM going at once. They'll unload the whole game just to respawn you. It's like, what the hell? What? Alright, thanks for watching. This game's called Project Eden, honestly, and it's the best game ever. It's so good. I've been... Loving it. You control these four characters. Look, you get like drones and stuff. Flying drones. And this is like a proper horror game too. Hold on, look at this. This is cool, this area. I just got to. It took me a while to figure out how to fly this, but you just have to aim the mouse and then just go forward. It's easy. Look at this. This is like scary, man. This game is amazing. What the hell is that? Project Eden. It's not even on Steam. Maybe that's why I didn't know about it. I found it on God Galaxy. It was like a dollar fifty nine. Oh look, saw blades. It's kind of spooky looking. Wow, this game is so cool. This maybe this is where I need to go. Wow, this game is so scary. Oh look, there's like a space in the ceiling. Look, I have SSR. Look, you can kind of see reflections on the wall a little bit. You see that? It's because uh, reshade, I just have SSR enabled. I'll show you. It, it's actually really cool. Um, here, let me fly like upward or something. Well, you see the reflections on the wall? Let me turn it on and off. You see it puts reflections on that pole? It's like fake ray tracing is what it's pretty much is. Other people have referred to it as fake ray tracing. And also I have um, SSAO enabled, which is ambient occlusion. It just puts shadows in corners, and it looks good. And I also have Delk Sharpen, which is a sharpening thing that, like, seems to only sharpen the insides of the textures. Like, it doesn't... Like, I don't like sharpening in general, but Delk Sharpen doesn't seem to make the whole image look crispy, crunchy. So I like this Delk Sharpen. All right, um, and I like how the flashlight is like. It has like a blue rim around it, and it looks very like high tech because of that. That's the thing that we're supposed to do. Okay, and beyond this point, I haven't gone this far yet. Okay. Nice. Oh, and then this dude shoots missiles. Oh, they're all out of ammo. We better find an ammo recharge station soon. The ammo recharge station? Like, you basically just get infinite ammo in this game. Because there's... Where, wherever you respawn, there's usually these buttons next to it where you hold it, and it just refills your ammo. It's so cool. This game is awesome. She's a hacker. This girl's a hacker. He can go in... This guy can go in rooms that are filled with, like, gas and stuff. This game is so freaking good. I'm literally becoming obsessed with it. Project Eden, it's called. Alright, thanks for checking it out.